Songwriting splits are essentially a division of copyright. It's where you agree on who is going to own what percentage of the song once it's completed. Our basic advice and our basic approach is really start with 50-50. Mm. You know, if you are writing a song with one other person and you're writing the song from the ground up, you start from a basic assumption that it's 50-50. And that basic assumption is something you do not revisit. <laughs> you know, you don't retroactively change that figure depending on what happened in the co-write. So even if in the co-write, you know, one person ended up, you know, coming up with the chord progression and maybe wrote the chorus and the other person suggested some lyrics and you know when you start to quibble about the specifics retrospectively it is the fastest way to completely end that relationship it's really important to understand that if you're starting from the ground up even if it feels like one person did something more than the other in reality none of it would have happened but for both of you sitting in that room together at that moment in time mm. and that goes for band co-writing as well one of the quickest ways to break a band up is to each try and discuss who contributed what element and what percentage that's worth. So sometimes you hear bands talking about this, you know, I wrote the riff, so that's gotta be worth maybe 8% or 10%. I wrote the verse lyrics, and so that's worth this percentage. The reality is, like Kep said, the band writes the song and performs the song together. And unless there's very specific allocation of roles up front, whereby you have designated writers and designated performers within the band, you really have to acknowledge that you're all bringing this song to life together. There's a great documentary about the Dixie Chicks, actually, called Shut Up and Sing that mm. I watched many years ago now. And one of the most enlightening scenes in that documentary was actually when they were hanging out with Red Hot Chili Peppers. And they had this conversation that was, how have you sustained this longevity in your band where so many other bands break up? You know, they do well and then they break up. And you hear them talk about this fundamental thing. They said, you know, from the beginning of our band, we split everything equally between us. And it doesn't matter if actually on this song was actually completely written by this person and the other person just added in a chord. That doesn't matter. Our fundamental working principle with our band is everything is divided equally. And that has been the crucial thing that has allowed that band to survive and thrive and flourish over a really long period of time. So look, that's a band situation and writing with a co-writer might not be exactly the same thing, but a fundamental principle of if you're starting a song from the ground up that you're dividing at 50-50. There are other cultures and other parts of the industry where things might change. So in Nashville, for example, they take that mentality to an extreme, right? They kind of say, look, if someone's just sitting in the room, they get an equal split in the song and that might be antithetical to you. And so that's something you also develop over time, right? And if you're writing with someone and you're 50-50, but you find in this co-write and in your next co-write, that person actually isn't contributing. You don't retroactively change the splits. You simply make the decision for yourself whether or not you want to continue co-writing with that person. Mm. That's how that works. And that's our advice to you. Mm. You got to make these decisions for yourself. But in our experience, dividing it equally and then making decisions about who you want to spend your time co-writing with is the best way to cultivate good working relationships and not to burn bridges or destroy those relationships after the fact. Hmm. A quick add-on here, there are moments when the 50-50 rule doesn't really apply and those are specific situations that we just want to touch on. In some of my co-writes, I'm working with songwriters who bring completed lyrical ideas, essentially, song forms that are that are done from title to the last line. And in those situations, my role is really as a producer or as someone who's contributing some musical ideas. And that's a situation where we're not working from the ground up to create the song. I'm really coming in, you know, halfway to the process. And so in those situations, I would talk to the co-writer about, you know, what splits are fair and equitable in this relationship. And that's a discussion that you have to have almost on a song by song basis and a, and a relationship by relationship basis. So an example is a case study from my work as a songwriter was bringing in some songs that I was having produced by two producers who are actually fantastic songwriters and in the pre-production process made some suggestions to the songs themselves that were fantastic and really transformed the songs and elevated the songs. So that conversation became about um, giving splits to those songwriters. But for me, it was not a ground up process. We didn't write the song together from start to finish. I really brought in the song and they contributed suggestions. So the conversation there became about me, you know, also having the confidence to say, I 
want to retain at least 50% of the ownership in this song, but let's divide the remaining 50% between the other songwriters. So there the splits were not totally even. It was 50% for me, 25% for one producer, and 25% for the other producer. Mm -hmm. 